What up nubbins, Serb here from TGN.TV, bringing you some really interesting news on the new talent system in the recently announced expansion by Blizzard, Myths of Pandaria. Now they took the current talent system and just kind of threw it out the window. They're revamping it pretty much completely to be honest. Basically what you have now is your class abilities, your spec abilities, and your talents. Now your class abilities are, I'm going to be using a mage as an example for most of this, so bear with me, but I'll explain each ability so you know. So a class ability is anything that works with any spec, no matter what you are. So an example for mages would be Time Warp. No matter if you're a Fire Mage, a Frost Mage, Arcane Mage, Time Warp is still useful. So you'll get that no matter what spec you are. Your spec abilities are abilities which kind of only pertain to your spec. Right now you get them when you first go into a spec. So to give an example, with a Fire Mage you get Pyroblast when you first get into the spec. And they like stuff like that, stuff that really works well with your spec. And you're going to be keep getting stuff as you go. So maybe you will get a spec uh, ability when you first enter in. Maybe you will get a specialization ability at level 30, maybe a few more later, that sort of thing. They kind of don't like all the clutter that's in your spell book right now. And they're trying to kind of clean it all up. They don't like all the stuff on people's hot bars, how it looks like a big, crazy, you know, mess. And your talents. Now, an interesting thing with the talents is that there are no longer points or ranks. So you'll no longer be seeing like three out of three, one out of two. It'll just be one. I chose that ability, that's mine. You'll be getting talents every 15 levels, guys, which is quite a lot less than you get now, to be honest. And basically, when you get a talent point, you'll have tiers. So you'll have to choose one out of three talents. And then you can only pick one of them, and you can't go back later to get other ones in that tier. So instance, you get a tier one talent, go to tier two, get another one, go to tier three. You can't be like, tier three talents suck. I'm going back to tier one talents and getting another one of those. Nope, you have to keep going along until the very end. Also, there's no mandatory talents. It's not like there's gonna be any cooker, cookie cutter builds. Basically, it's all depending on how you play. If someone wants to get a little bit more CC, crowd control, and someone else wants to get a little bit more DPS, that's fine. They're both perfectly viable, it's just on your play style. So, you know, it's just more customization based than it is now. It's not just maxing out your stats, it's kind of tweaking your character to how you like to play your class most. Also, they're making it so you can change these really easily. They're gonna say it'll be similar to the glyph system where you pay a consumable each time instead of the kind of ridic ridiculous system now. They have where it kind of increases exponentially in price each time you change it, which basically makes druids very painful to play. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, guys, thanks for bearing with me here. I'm Syrup from TGN.TV. See ya.